Hello, I'm Wiesti, and this is a write-up for the question XOXO Pone from the ISIT DTU CTF 2018. This question was worth 608 points and had 34 solves out of about 350 teams, so not the most difficult question. I actually didn't get this question during the CTF, but once I read a write-up, it was incredibly easy. So I'll just walk you through the solution. So let's open up a console and netcat into this program. All right, so it looks like we get to write our own function x. So it seems to interpret math, but I wonder what else we could interpret. At this point, I think it might just be a full-on Python evaluator, so let me try some other code. Yep, this is definitely a Python evaluator. So we have full control to write our own Python script, but what exactly are we trying to find? So I started looking for some built-in functions to see if any of them could give us more insight as towards what is in this program. And here I notice this globals function, which at first sight looks like it probably returns as a list of the global variables. And as I read this, I figure it definitely does. So I just try this out. And most of this is garbage, but I do notice this very interesting thing here. So we actually have the full URL of the file. So if we have the full file, can't we just read the file? And actually, it looks like that was too long of a string. So I, instead of putting in the own file, I just tried to replace it with just the uh, underscore underscore file variable. And there we have it, the full source code. So upon inspecting this code, this O function really sticks out to me, especially because there's a variable named secret and also this key right here. And looking more into it, it actually looks like it's just a simple XOR. So what this program does is it takes our input A and XORs it with the key, which is that Python will help you open the door string, and checks if it's equal to the secret, which is that long hex value that we had. Well, if the value of key is already given and the value of secret is already given, then it's clear that our job must be to find A. So a cool property of XORs is that if A XOR B equals C, then A is equal to B XOR C. So what this means is all we have to do to our code is change it so that it XORs the secret with the key, and then we can get the value of A. So let's write our own Python script using their code, except instead of XORing A with the key, we're going to XOR secret with the key. Now we can fix some formatting, and instead of checking if return equals secret, let's just print it out. Next, we don't actually have the value A anymore, so instead of looping from 0 to the length of A, let's just loop from 0 to the length of secret. Then obviously we're taking the characters from seeker instead of a. Next, this i mod length of a is there because if the length of seeker is longer than the key, then it wants the key to loop back, but because we're no longer using a, we're just going to change that back to the length of key. Now let's try out our script. And there's our flag. Alright, well thanks for watching. Feel free to throw in a like or subscribe if you like my video and if you want more in the future. Bye.